The term illicit financial flows, or IFF, refers to any capital movement whose origin or transfer is illegal. Developing and emerging economies lose more money through illicit financial flows than they receive in foreign aid. These lost funds are urgently needed to finance roads, schools and hospitals. That is why we, the Global Programme Combating Illicit Financial Flows, support our partners' endeavours to meet this pressing challenge. The Global Programme, commissioned by the German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, is implemented by GIZ. We cooperate with our partners to foster sustainable development. Firstly, Tackling tax evasion, aggressive tax planning and trafficking in natural resources directly contributes to domestic resource mobilisation. By rooting out these forms of IFFs, governments have more public funds available to invest in education, health and infrastructure. Secondly, improving legal frameworks and effectively prosecuting offenders not only helps to stem illicit financial flows, but also strengthens citizens' trust in state institutions and contributes to stability. Thirdly, to achieve inclusive growth, multinational corporations and wealthy citizens must pay their fair share in taxes. while political elites must no longer enrich themselves at others' expense. Our global programme, Combating Illicit Financial Flows, follows a holistic approach comprising the prevention, investigation and recovery of IFFs. Those involved in crimes like poaching, tax evasion or corruption must no longer profit from their illegal activities. We are making it harder for criminals to launder or hide their ill-gotten gains, at home or abroad. How it works? We support the implementation of international standards regarding the revelation of companies' true beneficial owners. This fosters transparency that is indispensable to prevent the transfer of resources abroad and the laundering of funds through complex corporations. We advise on establishing specialised agencies and strengthen cooperation between authorities. As a result, interagency investigative teams, comprising financial intelligence units, law enforcement agencies and tax authorities, work together to track and curb IFFs. We facilitate successful international cooperation, which is of special importance as IFFs do not stop at national borders. Mutual legal assistance and international exchange of information are fundamental to identify, freeze and recover illegal assets for new roads, better hospitals and schools. Sounds too good to be true. Here are some success stories that prove it's not. Following the support provided by the Global Programme Combating Illicit Financial Flows, Kenya recovered 500 million Kenyan shillings in illegal assets in 2017. Over the same period, the number of convictions for financial and economic crimes has risen significantly. And high-ranking officials have been sentenced for the first time. In Peru, we assisted in identifying money laundering risks and vulnerabilities. The findings have been used to revise the National Plan Against Money Laundering and the Financing of Terrorism. Thanks to training courses the Global Programme Combating Illicit Financial Flows provided, more than 300 investigators and tax inspectors in over 30 countries have enhanced their capacity to detect and trace IFFs. Together with our partners, we are continuously developing innovative approaches to support sustainable development through combating illicit financial flows. International cooperation works. Let us join forces.